up guys uh back with another video today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to change oil in your car i'm going to be doing it on the civic um here's my keys so on my way my boy sabo's gonna use his little ramps to roll the car up on and i'll see you guys there ramps first thing you're gonna do is take your oil cap off like that always Pull my dipstick out a little bit, doesn't really need to be. And what you can do also is, if your car is not too hot or anything, you can check all your fluids, like check your antifreeze, you might as well do that while you have it up, have your hood open. So you can go over, check everything that you wanna check, and then I'll show you your next step. Get your drain pan or whatever you're using to drain your oil into. And if you live in Florida like me, where it's always fucking seeing ball sack hot outside, I'd recommend you get something to repair you. And also, if there's anything splashing, it'll help save the concrete. Also, for me doing a Honda like me, most of them are 17 millimeter uh, drain plugs. So just go ahead and get you a 17 millimeter socket and a 3 8 ratchet. If not, you get your 3 8 ratchet and whatever millimeter your drain plug is, get that socket. All right, ladies and gents, this is where it gets a little awkward because you have very limited space, unless you have a lift. So what you're gonna do is look for your oil pan. Most basic Hondas, very easy because it'll literally say engine oil for you. So, you take that drain plug out. So any other car, just look for uh, your oil pan and drain that oil. Make sure you're not draining the transmission pan if you can on that vehicle because some cars don't have a dipstick tube for transmission fluid and then you're gonna be fucked. All right, y'all, oil's draining, it's almost done had to get a freaking towel to wipe my hand so I can record so once that's draining you can once that's done draining you can go ahead and put the plug back in and then next step is going to be your oil filter mine is right up there and what you're gonna do is sometimes you can get it with your hand sometimes you need some filter pliers or you can just get a screwdriver tap that sucker right through the whole oil uh, the oil filter and you can take it off that way but what i just recommend is getting some filter pliers because that's the easiest way oh and it just spins off so if you it's it's easy you're just gonna take it off and put a new one back on so that easy and then also don't forget to put your drain plug back in and make sure it is tight don't blow your motor all right guys so now that the oil is drained, drain plugs back in, you change your oil filter. Next thing to do, and one of the very last steps is just adding your oil. I'm using Casual GTX high mileage. So go ahead, add your oil. This car takes about four quarts. What I recommend you do is just go on Google, look up what year make model you have, the size engine, and just put the oil capacity in, it'll tell you. Guys, we just added the oil, we started it up. <laughs> well, we got some air going through it. Okay, we're good now. I was almost done. <laughs> but so we just added oil to it, started it up, checked the oil, everything's good. What I always recommend you do is you get a second pair of eyes. You have somebody watching under to make sure nothing's leaking when you start it up. Also, I recommend you give it gas till about 2,000 RPM. Hold it there for a good five seconds. Make sure the other set of eyes is watching for any leaks. Make sure the oil filter's not leaking. Make sure the drain plug is good and you're all good to go. Congrats, you just did your first oil change on your own. You should be happy that you didn't just spend 70 bucks at a shop when you just spent 25 bucks on oil and a filter. Saved you a good 50, 45, 50 bucks. So congrats to that guys. We just were leaking out the uh, radiator right now and doing like a a bobo flush until i can do the uh thermostat and thermostat housing i'm gonna bring it somewhere and have them do the radiator machine and put the radiator flush on it so watch out for that video guys i will be doing the thermostat and thermostat housing soon also tonight i'll be editing a video sabo and i went to san augustine and we rode scooters around with our girlfriends for the day so watch out for that <clears throat> speaking of that we each got a gopro to film that and to film when we want to do some clips. So watch out for that. 
People are about to be pulling up to the Civic, seeing all the GoPro attachments, be like, nah, I ain't finna run it. But, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more footage. Once again, congrats on doing your own oil change.